Office correspondent of Itemi George joins us now for more on this story. Ovi Itemi, we reported earlier that nearly 50% of cooking gas in Nigeria was imported from India and other parts of the country in the first three months of this year. What do you think makes it difficult? Why do we keep pushing the deadlines as we get gas flaring? Well, it's quite difficult to understand the working of the multinational companies of uh, the federal government. The first time was uh, uh, this regulatory framework, the Associated Gas Reinjection Act of 1979, the place that 1984. And now the uh, Minister of Petroleum State, Ibe Katiko, is saying next year. Nobody seems to know why the goal has been shifted technically, but it is only to the um, favor of the multinational companies because it's more like they're coming to terms with the fact that they will be losing so much, yet they are still selling the gas. It, it only favors the multinational companies uh, to the detriment of the communities, the oil producing communities, and the federal government, I think, that there should be strong regulatory framework and legal banking from the National Assembly. The Petroleum Industry Bill, 14 years, and now it has been amended to be the Petroleum Industry Governance Bill, which uh, the National Assembly passed in the twilight of uh, their tenure and still awaiting uh, President Mohamed Buhari's action. I think when that is eventually turned into law, then this focus will speed up. Help us understand precisely the health concerns as highlighted by the Save Ejo Nation group uh, during their awareness walk. Well, the first person that spoke there is from a community called Polako. Now that's just one of the very many communities who uh, are oil producing. Uh, but the fact is that the, the, the statistics gotten from health centers and in some places where the communities are so far flung, they have to come to Yenagoa, that is the state capital for treatment. Cancer and related diseases, often associated with cancer. Sometimes so much upset, migraine, headaches, and these are oftentimes reported, but nothing has really been done about. So they said the your nation group took it as a responsibility to match on uh, uh, World Environment Day to highlight the dangers, perhaps because the community is too uh, inhabited by the illiterate and those who do not actually know their rights. Well, of you, Timmy, George, let's look forward to better days ahead as regards um, gas flaring and its um, attendant health challenges in that part of the country. Thank you for talking to us on the news tonight.